Well, I think it's close to around 11 o'clock at night, uh, Thursday night. And I'm going to put some propane, I mean, R290, into my air conditioner. Yeah, there's a lot of warnings about this, but hey, I know this stuff works. I'm going to guess the system's completely empty, probably down to like 10 PSI, so I'm going to drop in one can. Uh, it takes about just under 3 pounds, so that's actually just over 2 cans worth. Uh, so I'm going to hook it up, dump in a can, and kind of check what my pressure is going to be before that, of course. But And uh, yeah, see what it's going to be, because tomorrow's going to be plus 35 outside, and uh, don't need Poodle getting too warm. Yeah, I know. It's already warm enough as it is, hey? Well, I'm going to jump outside with my headlamp and dump in a can. And then I'll run it for a bit and check the pressures. Well, I just got the crap scared out of me right over there. You see that piece of plywood? Yeah, there's a little tiny baby fawn sleeping behind it. I say tiny, but they're actually pretty big already. But took off over there. I don't see it. Hmm. No, don't see it no more. Yeah, I heard something else rustling, so most likely the mother, but... Yeah, that was kind of interesting. Man, are my trees growing quick, fast. Those ones are already way over the top of my head. <laughs> okay, so here's the beast. I believe by looking at this model number there, it's made in 1990. Okay, so that's my pressure. <laughs> yeah, she's virtually empty. Just pulled off the service cap there. Hooked up my gauge. Oh, see what we could do. I'm going to have to put down the camera, but I'm going to crank it up. Uh, this thing says 210 PSI on the low side and 450 on the high side. I'm only doing the low side, but I'm only going to bring it up to about 80 because that number, i got to look that up. That number just seems a little bit overkill to me. I'm not too sure why. Yeah, she's frosting up nicely. <laughs> Same with the gauge. Pressure slowly climbing. And I believe the tank's empty. So, hmm. Yep. I think I'm going to have to shut that valve off and change my tanks. Well, I just had a deer right by that, that tree right there, right behind it. Literally a few seconds ago. And of course, I had my phone in my pocket. So, hmm. And of course my phone don't want to focus, but man, I gotta love this flashlight here. Yeah, it's no light, uh, what's it, the 20, uh, S2A baton. And man, it's been one of my best EDC lights. Uh, and what I'm wearing on my head is one of these old light headlamps. Not gonna get the model number, but it's nice too. And doing this at two in the morning, yeah, it's two in the morning right now. It's probably the best time. Yes, you're meant to do this when it's warm, out of course, but I don't want to be working in heat tomorrow and I want to sleep in. <laughs> well, I let her run now for about half an hour and she's a little frosty. You can't really see it there, but the compressor itself is a little frosty too. Well, actually, it's more, you know, but yeah, she's a frosty out here. Well, I just brought the tanks in because, uh, they're icing up on me, the tanks themselves, so I put them in some warm water for a while. Just the tank itself. And of course I got a little bit in the gauge, but we'll see what happens. You know, I never turned it on yet, but the one thing I do know is that where I just put this on, could have been ice on, I'm sure there was ice on the inside of that valve too. Uh, I don't think I'm going to turn it on today, because... Uh, that would put some moisture into the system and that's not going to be a good thing. I should have really put back on the caps. Interesting. Or it's leaking really bad there, but no. You can see the tape all along here is all moist. Moisted up. It's just low on a, a little bit low, I would say, still. But it's iced up all inside it too, so that's uh, took me, uh, I guess I watched one episode of Orange is the New Black. <laughs> I like that show. Yeah, I think maybe I should turn down the AC inside. Look at the frost. Holy. Yeah, you got it's down to about uh, 15 Celsius in there. Starting to ice up a bit here. Uh, I've only running about 34 PSI, so I gotta get it up to at least uh, another can worth. <laughs> Again, it's just 
it's starting to freeze up inside the can but I did open it you can see it's icing up the whole thing here so yeah I guess I'll shut off that valve I'm gonna hope that it stayed iced up and it never pushed any moisture in yeah if it if it does I'm not too worried about it this thing's from 1990 uh, I could change it out so freaking easy I got all the stuff to change it the air conditioner the actual proper air conditioner machine with the R22 and uh, all the different the R410 I guess is what some of the newer ones use uh, unless that's fridges only I'd have to look it up but again I got all the actual proper AC stuff but it's more automotive use the machine with the vacuum pump and everything this is just kind of a temporary fix for this year are you ready for bed? Three in the morning. Huh? Oh, actually, no. Wait. Huh? Oh. Two in the morning. Exactly. Two or three. <laughs> uh. Oh, it was out there for about ten minutes, and yeah, blowing fourteen. Very cold, and that's only one can I put in there. Well, I guess you could say uh, that's uh pretty good because I'm measuring the temperature of the air going into it and it's about 22 degrees so yep that's a start and that's pretty freaking awesome and that's celsius by the way i think i'm going to have a cool house tomorrow i guess i'll have to wait and find out okay so two empty cans on the ground and uh yeah she's full well she's in the green that's at about 70 kind of ranges between 75 to 72 to 75 psi this can's empty right now i just got it on here for checking the pressures so everything is working good it's nice and cold inside you can see some moisture building up on this side so yeah everything is good so what i'm going to do now is turn off this idea how tight to go uh, the kit came with uh, a cap like this guy here that actually has an o-ring in it so I'm probably going to use that one uh, in case the valve ever failed here so this one here you can see is kind of crusty uh, you think there would be some kind of o-ring in here in case it actually leaks back past the valve talk about where I just shut it off hard to say A little bit of line pressure left. It's back on now. I guess there's a little bit of air still left in that tank. Very little. That's just compressed air. You can see, or compressed, uh, what's it called? Uh, not air, propane. Compressed propane, yeah, that's what it would be called. Of course, there's still going to be some liquid left in the line, so it'll always go back up. I'm doing that to see if the valve's shutting off properly, but to do that, I gotta give it time for it to evaporate what's inside that line. Okay, so, it's on battery, so 22.4 is the intake air. Now I'm gonna go stick this on, uh, should I stick it on this vent? Ooh, that vent's nice and cold. Uh, Roxy, you left some cottage cheese in your dish. Better go eat that up before I dump it. Let's stick it on this vent here. Might be a bad idea because it is the hottest room, but uh, stick it there for a while. Is that going to get blown on proper? Yeah, it should. Leave it there for about 15, 20 minutes and we'll see what it's at. I wonder if I should shove a cardboard box or something over top it just so the sun doesn't beat down onto it and screw it up. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Kind of want to see about a 20% difference eh, it won't even be that high well enough <laughs> i know you normally want i don't know in celsius what the actual degrees you want but i know uh in fahrenheit you normally want anywhere from 15 to 20 difference right poodle <laughs> and the reason why that's on the couch there is because proxy's in heat she only has another week left and she's done well, I've been on there for about 15 minutes. I'm going to call it out of pass. It's 14. And what was it saying before? 22 on the other side? 
Woo! This thing's actually pretty cold. Ooh, very cold. Uh, I'll talk about how cold it is. I had my tablet uh, behind uh, the chair here. And, yeah, or couch. You could feel a good cold breeze because there is a vent behind it. That is pretty nice. Hmm. Flashlight's charged. Awesome light. Uh, I normally keep this one always just up there for when I need it. Well, I don't know what else I'm going to get into today. I got to do some weed whacking. Got to do some proxy uh, brushing. She's a little bit of a Maddie poodle, but yeah, she doesn't get a bath or anything until she's done her heat. Yeah, it's kind of a pain in the butt, but hey. Uh, the girlfriend should be here probably in about two hours, around two o'clock, I'm figuring. Uh, she just went to an auto wrecker, picked up a drive shaft uh, for her Jeep, because not sure if I mentioned it, but about, uh, is it two or three weeks ago, she was on her way home and had the drive shaft explode. It actually took the yoke out on uh, the differential where the U joints connect. It's only four bolts to change the whole assembly, but she figured out how to remove it on the side of the road and drive home in front wheel drive on her Jeep. So, okay, well. Maybe I'll make a video of installing that, or maybe I'll make her install it. We'll see. Well, the AC is working awesome in the house. Went to pick up some dirty old styrofoams. Yeah, this is going to be used to keep some of the sun out of the sun room. Uh, because it's 100 above in here right now. I'm not joking. That's with the window open here. Been open all day. Uh, so we're going to make some panels to block off those windows temporary. And uh, some of it's going on the septic to stop it from freezing. But you guys don't believe me, it's 100 above. Look at that. It's actually like 102. A little warm, that's for sure. Oh, Lee, what's going on in here? Roxy, I don't think you want to go out there. <laughs> She's like, hey, wait, it's cold out here. Yeah, that is. Oh, got the light on. Oh, proxy. Are you? you oh, hey, you got. Yeah. She's like, nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, hey, it's raining hard. Yeah, I, I'm. Hoping you remember to close my truck windows. Okay. Oh, the proxy almost in the trap. Look at her going to rain, proxy. Yeah. Oh, thunder and everything. Hey, poodle. Are you afraid of thunder showers, poodle? Are you afraid? Yeah, it's raining good today. Saturday morning and man is it strong. Holy. Right Poodle? Yeah, you don't want to go out there. <laughs> She's like, no. Oh wow. Lightning, thunder, uh, very, very strong winds. Kind of wish I had this guy working, but it kind of blew away. <laughs> little sunbaked. Yeah, I don't want to go outside. I don't want to go outside. <laughs> X-rated, I mean, X-ray vision. Yeah, it's a little warm on those windows. The two outside brown ones. The white ones don't look too bad, but the brown ones, uh, they're looking a little bit uh, saggy. I think it's a little warm back there for them. It's cool on this side, but you can feel when you stick your finger in between there, uh, it's a little warm back there, but uh, as long as the sun doesn't magnify, I think it should be good. You know, it was a hot day when your blinds decide to commit suicide. The white ones are fine, but the black ones, or brown ones, yeah, they committed suicide. Yeah, you know, it's a hot day. <laughs> and believe me, does it stink in there? Aw, they're all, or they're all limp. Well, just kind of planning for the jungle here. I uh, pulled off that sheet there. Hey, it's a weird, it's a different color now. 
Huh. The sheep's a different color. I think I put it. No, it's the right direction. Why is it a different color now? Do you see that? It's always a different color. It was? Oh. Well, I just went underneath, checked out the insulation factor of this area. Uh, just planning to maybe heat it during the winter. And <laughs> you can see those windows don't like the heat. Got up, up to like plus 60 in there. No joke, like 120. Something like that. So way too hot. Of course, it's facing uh, where the sun goes down. Note to self, got my drill by that air conditioner. Got to bring that in when I'm done. But just kind of doing an inventory in the scrapyard, junkyard area, because believe it or not, it's already it's already August. So kind of going through some of this uh, random hordes here. I was actually looking for these rims and tires here, and I thought I couldn't find them. Well, I ended up being that they were hidden, and I got a scrap metal corner in there. So much junk here to get rid of. Uh, but kind of deciding here to use those skids to put some stuff up on top for the winter. My trailers in the city, same with a few other things. And uh, it's going to start raining soon, but this kind of yeah, my tractor's still there. This old door that I have here, might end up throwing that on the house for the winter, temporary. Not 100% sure about that idea yet. Jimmy Dean's cricket here. Or grasshopper. <laughs> but as you guys can see, uh, garden has got nothing done this year at all in it. It's all back in weeds again. I haven't walked around here, uh, I could say, this year yet. I did plant some onions, but uh, pretty sure they all died. They would have been in here somewhere. Yep, they're gone. Got dog run here. Hasn't been getting used. I've been using proxy in the front. Wow, I can't believe the height of this tree right now. Wow, that's all fresh growth. Right from about that point up. Wow. That's crazy. This tree grew almost two feet this year. Wow. This one here grew about the same amount of distance right from about this point here up that's almost three feet on this guy yeah that's kind of why i'm gonna go for a walk and check out some of the trees get eaten alive by the mosquitoes buzzing around and just kind of check out some stuff got these big sand hills here that i never finished the leveling out but yeah yeah fun yeah it's gonna be a good storm probably closer to the one we got last night that is crazy, that's for sure. That is cool. Yeah, and then it's nice and perfectly clear all the way over here. <laughs> material happening up there. Absolutely. Wow. Did you get that? Nope. Yep. She melted. She melted good. Oh. At least now with the thunder shower outside happening. These all cooled off. But wow did it get hot in here this morning. Or this afternoon. That is awesome. And stunk. Cleaning up this area here, kind of getting it ready. Got some paneling in here. That door has to come out to move some stuff. And uh, did you find yourself a little den? Did you find yourself a little den, Proxy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think she likes that spot. It took me a few minutes to remember where she was. <laughs> Motorcycles buried underneath all that stuff there. And going to have to do something with this door so what I'm going to do is actually this door is going to fit in there I already looked I peeked up on the top of this one this piece is just in loose uh, that door will fit in that gap so it's going to work out pretty decent 
And for the back door, I'm going to get another one. This one I'm going to have to cut a dog door in and uh, go from there.